Connecting Arizona. This is 12 News at 10. Good evening, everyone. In his 75 years of life, Eddie Basha left a stamp on our great state. The community icon died this afternoon after a long illness. Eddie Basha had an Arizona spirit really unlike anyone else. A businessman, a politician, and someone who gave millions to charity. How do you measure a man? By his success in business, by his wealth, charity endeavors, who he loved, or maybe who loved him? In the case of Eddie Basha, the great-grandson of Lebanese immigrants, it was all of the above. Eddie was born in Chandler, graduated from Chandler High where he played football, and then went on to earn a degree from Stanford. He then came home to work in the family grocery business. When his father died in 1968, Eddie took over, rescuing a financially troubled business. But Eddie, as he did with everything in his life, saw it as a challenge and not only rescued the business, but grew it adding two new brands to the Bash's chain with Food City and AJ's. He was also devoted to Arizona, so much so that in 1994, he ran for governor, defeating Terry Goddard in the primary. He wound up losing to Fife Symington. In 2009, the company was in trouble again. This time, the downturn in the economy forced Bash's to seek bankruptcy protection. As part of the reorganization, it closed more than 30 stores and trimmed costs. Bashes would come out of bankruptcy, and Eddie continued his commitment to the community, donating and raising millions of dollars for Arizona charities. But nothing sums up who he was like the small card that he kept in his wallet. The hand of help has no color. The face of caring has no shape. The language of love has no accent. So whether it was Turkey Tuesday, which 12 News and the Arizona Republic partnered with him on, education in the state, or any of the other worthwhile causes that he supported, Eddie Basha lived those words every day. So many people in our community will never forget Eddie, including all of the great folks down at St. Vincent de Paul. Joining us tonight is our good friend Steve Zabilski, the executive director. A, a tough night, but I, I think one of those nights, Steve, where we should celebrate who Eddie was. And, and when, I, when I say the name Eddie Basha to you, what comes to mind? I think of the parable of the Good Samaritan. Eddie was the person that regardless of how busy he was, he would find time to stop and help others. He would do the simple task, come into our dining rooms, serve meals, visit with our guests, sweep the floors, then he would go to the Capitol to do the business of the state. Th this really leaves a giant hole, I think, in many ways. Uh, earlier tonight, uh, Lynn Sue was talking about, you know, his, his love for education in our state. And of course, we know him for his work along with us for St. Vincent de Paul. What are some of the things that you'll always remember about him? His kindness. He was a great mentor. He was so much fun. Uh, and I think the, the thing that's most special is his humility. There are people that ate dinner today in our dining room who had no idea that it was Eddie Basha who fed them. Yeah. There was no idea that it was Eddie and Basha's and his family. He continued the legacy of his grandparents and his parents. And, and you were saying when you came down before we went on the air that, that Turkey Tuesday will never be the same, and that's true. The largest, thanks to Eddie in large part, and, and the massive network of Basha's stores, uh, the largest one-day turkey drive in the country. I was in his office just two weeks ago. We were already planning the 2013 Turkey Tuesday, and Eddie wants to bring the AJ stores into it this year. It's not enough with just Bashes and not enough with Food City. He wants to make it even bigger and better. The, the thing that I love about him, and, and Lynn Sue mentioned this earlier, is that he always made it a point, even though his, his boys are now grown men, to kiss his boys. Oh, he uh, loved them. He, he, he was a true family man he, in so many he, ways. He loved his family. And they loved him, and the Basha name is, is as respected as any name in our community. And, and finally, uh, just talking about the spiritual side of Eddie that you knew. Uh, I knew him as, as a very giving man, and I think part of that was because of, of his roots, the, 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 the grandson, the great-grandson of, of Lebanese immigrants who, who worked their way and built their business from the ground up. I remember walking into our chapel at St. Vincent de Paul one afternoon, there was Eddie Basha on his knees, deep in prayer. He had no idea I walked in. 
He was in prayer, thanking God for his gifts and his blessings. Well, Steve, uh, rest assured the Turkey Tuesday will go on, and now it will go on in his name as we, we continue with bashes and, and with the great work that you all do down at St. Vincent de Paul. Thanks for coming down tonight. Thank, I know it's thank, a tough night. Thank you, Mark. All right, Steve Zabilski with us. Well, the Basha family released a letter tonight to its workforce. It, it reads in part, it's with the heaviest of hearts that my family and I share news that we hoped we'd never have to share. Eddie passed away today. We want to share with you just how much Eddie loved Bashes, its members, and of course its customers. From our earliest childhood, he always reinforced to us the importance of our members and giving back to our community. As a family, we want to thank you for your devotion, your thoughts, and prayers. And no matter what your politics, it is hard to argue that Eddie Basha did not consistently give back. Joining us live now is Chandler Mayor Jay Tipschraney. You belong to different parties, but it didn't matter. You guys were good friends. Tell us about this man that you loved and admired so much, Mayor. I think a lot of it's already been said. I mean, Eddie was a man that gave and gave and gave, always wanting to improve his fellow man, always looking out for those in need. And my family goes back with Eddie's family generations. We, our families both immigrated from Lebanon 100 years ago. Eddie's uh, father was a mentor to my father and uh, much the same way that Eddie was a mentor to me. So his loss is not only a great, tremendous loss to Chandler and we're heartbroken about it, but it's a, it's a significant and a great loss to the state of Arizona. You told the Arizona Republic today that Eddie, quote, had a heart as big as our state. We know he was generous. What does that mean to you? He just loved everybody. And, you know, he made you all feel real special, whether he was talking to me and I felt really special or the, whoever you talked to, you really felt that you were special to Eddie and that he really cared about you because he did care about you. And so he loved people. I mean, he, he loved everybody. And, he, and it showed in his actions every day and the way he dealt with you individually and the way he dealt with issues. And so it's just a, a, a lesson of love and a man with compassion that always strove to make those around him better. And there wasn't a cause that he didn't get involved with. I mean, we hear about the causes he, were, he was involved with, but there's many, 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 many things he did nobody will ever know about. That was the kind of man he is. He, he, he's truly an icon, and I don't use that term lightly, but he, his kind, they don't come around very often. We'll never see another Eddie Basha in our lifetime. Yeah, he just wanted to make the world a better place. He did make you feel special. When you think about him tonight, Mayor, what do you think Eddie Basha's legacy is going to be? You know, it's probably too big to describe, but his legacy is that of giving. Although he, is, he was an intelligent man, he was a successful, unbelievably successful businessman, but I think his legacy is how he cared about his fellow man and the plight of those in need and how he came to their rescue time after time after time. That will be his legacy, among others. He will be missed. Thank you, Mayor, for joining us tonight. We appreciate Thank it. You. And Governor Brewer sent us a statement tonight as well saying, Eddie was an Arizona through and through, born of a pioneer Arizona family. Eddie grew to become one of our state's giants in business, politics, and community service. He loved Arizona, and it showed in his decades of devoted work on behalf of Arizona schools and students. Eddie Basha showed all that could and still can be accomplished in Arizona with hard work, dedication to community, and love of family. That may be his most lasting legacy, and it's one for which his family can be proud. There is no question that Eddie cast a giant shadow in our state. His passing is something you might not notice unless you walk into one of those grocery stores tomorrow. William Pitts is live out in Chandler where the news is just starting to trickle down. Will? Yeah, Mark, this is the closest store to Basha's headquarters. And, you know, the Basha family pretty much built this town. We drove on Basha Road past the Basha Museum, Basha High School. His mark is pretty much all over the state of Arizona. One woman we talked to said Eddie Basha was the reason she started shopping at Basha's in the first place. And tonight she was about to head somewhere else. She thought about him and came here instead. Most shoppers had already heard about his death. All of them said, though, what a huge impact he made on Arizona, but especially with his charity. Whatever it was, whether it was donations or just for the community, he's been a wonderful community person. How supportive and how much he has done for all those children. Whenever there are children involved, he's right there. It's a shock. 
I mean, he's been around. He's trying to rebuild his stores. You know, people are supporting him. I support him. It's a family thing. I think exactly. the just the, the store itself, I mean, it is a family, and that's the way they, they talk, and it's so important. Uh, we did stop by Bash's headquarters earlier today. We talked to a security guard. He said he'd worked out there for about 18 years. He had just talked to Eddie Basha last week, and he said, of course, it was a very, very sad day. Live in Chandler, William Pitts, 12 News. Thanks, William. There is no question Eddie Bash's legacy will live on. He was part of a documentary over a decade ago that was produced by the Arizona Historical League. Eddie talked about his family and the future once he was gone. History was made when my family came to Arizona in 1910. And, and what we're doing in, in, in a real sense with me, my opinion, is we are commemorating a family family that came to America to make a better life for itself and in so doing made a better life for a whole host of other people and I am just so honored and privileged that I have that opportunity to continue in the spirit of my grandfather and my father and mother and my aunts and all who, who helped make the Basha family what it is my only prayer is that my sons will continue in my footsteps when I'm gone. Extensive coverage tomorrow morning on the death of Eddie Basha in the Arizona Republic. We already have tomorrow's editorial drawing from Steve Benson. Very simple and very powerful. That's a teardrop you see. A lot of people feeling sorrow tonight.